Legendary adventurer and feminist icon Amelia Earhart set two world records in 1932 flying alone across the Atlantic Ocean in 15 hours, becoming the first woman and only the second person in history to do so, and subsequently flying non-stop across the U.S., again the first time a woman had achieved the feat. These magnificent records made Earhart an instant worldwide sensation. Independent and adventurous since childhood, she knew on her very first flight in December 1920 with experienced pilot Frank Hawks that her place was in the air. As soon as I left the ground, I knew I myself had to fly, she revealed. The disappearance of Amelia Earhart her final adventure in a Lockheed 10E Electra, purchased for her by benefactors of Purdue University where she served as a visiting aviation professor might easily have become her greatest record yet, to be the first woman to complete a circumnavigational flight of the globe. But in a disastrous turn of events, Earhart and her navigator Fred Noonan never completed the trip, failing to locate their refueling stop of Howland Island, a tiny, two-mile strip of land in the Pacific Ocean, on the 2nd of July 1937. Neither the plane nor its crew were found during an exhaustive search of air and sea, and despite numerous outlandish theories surrounding the incident, it is presumed the two ran out of fuel and ditched into the Pacific. It should come as little surprise that the intrepid Earhart has inspired a slew of articles and books, documentaries and films, songs and theater productions. She was even immortalized in plastic as one of a new line of Barbie dolls introduced in 2018, depicting inspirational women. Yet the classical music world has failed to embrace her story, until now. The Amelia Earhart Barbie doll The Violin Concerto inspired by Amelia Earhart's life and story and her composer Michael Daugherty, whose Violin Concerto Blue Electra, based on the life of Amelia Earhart, received its world premiere in November 2022 at Washington's Kennedy Center, just a stone's throw from her famous Vega 5B. Commissioned by violinist Anne Akiko Myers, who performed the work over three consecutive nights with the National Symphony Orchestra under Ginadrea Nozda, the concerto is a vivid and often beautiful tribute to its subject. Its four movements each depict a different period in Earhart's life. The opening section, Courage, 1928, is a musical reflection on a poem written by Earhart before her first flight across the Atlantic. Not only did this amazing woman set aviation records, she also wrote three books and numerous verses, eventually donated to Purdue University by her granddaughter. Daugherty responds to the poem with a soaring, tuneful opening, encapsulating ideas of heroism ambition and the sensation of gliding thrillingly above the mundane. 